Hi, my name is Duran. I started as a beginner with Coach Christabel two years ago. I now play with my friends once a week. Okay, nice backhand, but the forehand, not enough shoulder turn. Yeah, so forehand doesn't have enough shoulder turn. You can see her hand is always like going first. Sometimes the shoulder doesn't turn together with the hand. Okay? Okay, it's a baseline a little bit better. Very good, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Very good. You can see sometimes when she stands far away, she misses a few of the balls because uh, she doesn't know where to stand, okay? So when she gets used to the high balls, she only stays like very behind. Okay, so what she should do is always like go back around the shadow area at least, not too far away. So she can still take the short balls. Very good. Okay, very simple, we're gonna have the after looking at what she did just now, right, we're going to make sure that after she hits, she always come, comes back to like at least around the like 1.5 meter, okay? Yeah. So we're going to place this one here first, okay? So you can see every time, every time you play, right, even though your opponent is hitting like uh, maybe like three or four balls deep behind the court, you still have to like come back in here. You cannot stay behind. So a lot of people, like are, the problem is that once they get used to staying behind, they will just stay behind and not come back in, okay? And then you won't be able to take the short balls. If your opponent like miss hits or like gives you a weak return, you won't be able to run in time to take the ball, okay? So we're just gonna do the drills. You're gonna throw some balls behind, making sure she moves really far behind and come back in, okay? One more thing is that when she, whenever she hits like the deep balls, right? She always like doesn't use her, her body and her legs more. She always uses only her hand when she goes behind. So you can see on the previous video, right? On the previous like, um, uh, what do you call that? The previous like footage, right? And when she moves back, she only uses her like hand to hit. So she go, she'll go like this. She'll hit like she should go behind, and she goes like 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 this only. So she doesn't turn her shoulder together when she goes behind. Okay, so we're gonna work on that a little bit. Okay, here you come. Let's go. Yeah. So you're gonna stay here. So what we're gonna do is, you're just gonna stand this easy drill, right? I'm just gonna stand here. What what she has to do is she has to stand. Always come back to like right behind the yellow marker, okay? So she's gonna go like I'm gonna throw like all the way behind. She'll hit the ball with her body 
and a hand, so everything together. So you don't want to just go like with your hand. You want to you know, like bend down and push with your, your legs, okay? It's okay to like toss the ball like really behind. You don't have to always toss the ball. You don't have to always toss the ball like inside the court. You can just toss behind just to simulate like the ball's going far away when you're here. So it's easy for you to like speak to your student, right? Okay, so you ready? Yeah. Just gonna throw some like deep ones, okay? Let's go. One. Alright, recover all the way, split step, let's go, back, up, good, recover again, split step, good, all the way back, up. So as you can see the high balls, right, you still got to let it drop a little bit more, alright. Unless you have really no time, you can hit it when it's higher. It's okay, come, hit down the line, let's go, down the line, up, good try, keep going. Right, all the way front, all the way front, all the way front. It's going to be really tiring, but you have to make sure that every time you go, you can use your legs. So don't just like get into the habit of like, if the ball's really fast, you still want to wait for it to drop down a little bit more for you to take, okay? So these are balls that are not really like strong, so don't rush. Take the balls like when it's lower. And up, very good. Recover, last one, and go. Okay. Every time you learn how to serve, you always start on this side, okay? Always start on the ad side. So that if you, if you use your like, the proper like, proper continental grip, right? You, will be, you won't be able to like hit there easily, like to the out wide, right, on the ad side. So most of the time, if you hit properly, the ball will go to this side. So the objective of like the player is to be able to use like, this is not like flat server, this is either like, uh, this is the, your like normal serve, like slice a little bit, right? So in order to hit there, they have to be able to like know how to control their shoulder movement to make sure that they, and position, to make sure that they can hit that side, even though they are using the continental grip. Because usually when you use continental, right, when you go, the ball's always going to go to the wrong side, this side. Okay, so we want to learn how to go to that side. So the reason why, right, okay, let's say for some like beginners, right, or people that cannot really hit the flat surf yet, or pronate, right, let's say their shoulder's not that strong, you want them to be able to like learn how to hit that side without pronating. Because sometimes when you tell, teach people how to pronate, they get confused on how to like surf properly. So you want to like maybe like begin with a little bit like more spin before you learn how to like teach them how to pronate. Okay, so come. We're gonna see how she serves first, and then we'll like try to correct, okay? okay. And then we'll see how. All right, one more time. So you can see, pseudo rackets open up, right? It looks pretty good. So she knows sort of like good motion for serving, good rhythm, right? But the the the, the racket is always opening up at the back, correct? So what we're gonna do is very simple thing, okay? So. She's gonna stay here. She's gonna do the basic, like, okay. Here. All right, just gonna stand, I would say, like, in front of this one. We're gonna lay one line over here. She's gonna stand in front of, like, behind this yellow line. Stand behind this yellow line. Okay, so always turn sideways, right? Very good. So you always turn sideways for beginner, for, for us, right? Because we want them to be able to learn how to use their hips already at the beginning, okay? So they will learn how to already, like, hop over the yellow line so that they know how to use their hips to turn, okay? Alright, so, we're going to start off with the ball here. Hold the ball, okay, so, I'm sure you relax your arm. You're going to put the racket behind, okay, so relax your hand. Yep, so you're going to start like this, alright, basically like this is what we do for beginners. You always have to make sure the racket is always facing you, because you don't want, if you bend your wrist straight away, right, okay, relax your hand first, yep. So if you bend your wrist straight away, like this, most of the time, right, most of the time you will want to go like pancake surf because you already like open up the wrist. So you want to, you, you probably want to go like that. All right, so it's important to like make sure when they're like this, right, they want to go with their body first, okay? So they'll turn their shoulders first, and their racket goes like that, okay? So relax your hand. Yep, so you always want to make sure, hum? Okay, you always want to make sure that the chest and the bicep, right, chest and the arm is like one, one straight line like this. So you some good, get, get some good like leverage here. You don't want it, if it's close like that, you won't be able to throw as well as like, you get as much power as if it's like already open up, okay? Okay, so from here, she's gonna do some shadows first. So you're gonna, you're gonna yeah, just do some shadows with the racket facing down, relax your hand and toss, okay? Plus the jump, all right? Everything's there. Without okay. the ball? Without the ball, yeah. And then, bam! All right, no, no, no. <laughs> so like, you do, the, do this, do the whole thing, right? So you're just gonna like toss, bend, and just jump over the line and finish like this, okay? And boom. Left leg. So it's left leg over the yellow line every time. Okay? Left leg. Yep. And left leg. Wrong leg. Left leg. Left leg. Yeah, so you gotta like bend your knees, right? And then bam like this. Oh, okay. 
Other way. Left leg. Like this? Yep. Okay. So you go closer first. Okay, toss. And jump. Yeah, like that. Okay, again. Closer. Okay. Very good. Bend your knees. Boom. Yeah, like that. Nice. Okay, again. Alright. So wait, wait, wait. You want to turn a little bit more? Okay, good. Left hand up. And boom. Very nice. Okay, you're going to start with the ball. Let's see. Should be okay. I hope. Okay, good. Alright. Go again. So you can see as she serves now, right? Watch carefully. Yeah. Again. Right, you can see when she serves now, sometimes she's going, when she jumps, right, she jumps very to the right. Right, I mean, sometimes it might be that the ball toss is too right side, okay? So what you're going to do sometimes is, hey, relax first. So sometimes when you see your, your student, right, like jumping to one side too much or something, you want to put the cones there to restrict them from like movement, okay? So now they have like very nice like position, right? Come, stay here. Okay, so you notice she always jumps around here, correct? She always comes here, she always lands maybe around this area. So you want to put the cones here, right? Right. Give some space because sometimes like she will probably jump around like this. It's fine here. But you don't want to jump like too far to the other side because you don't want to lose the power because objective is to like, like push yourself forward, right? If you push yourself like sideways, then the power, you lose a little bit more power than if you push like straight, right? Okay, so you're going to put this here because she's, she's always jumping on this side, right? To prevent her from going on this side. So there's an obstacle there. So the brain will be like, oh, I don't want to go there, okay? Okay, so you can go ahead and toss the ball now, the real one. Okay. So boom. All right, it's a bit better. Come. So objective is not to pass the, not to touch the cones basically, okay? Okay, again, let's keep going. Now to prevent her from standing too much on the left side to, you know, can you see she's like slowly moving this side? So you want to force her back to the, to the inside, okay? So you're going to put like the cones here. Because she's not moving her legs, so you don't need to worry about like her stepping on the cone. Yeah, so you're going to force her to stay inside, okay? So this is how it, how it looks. Boom. Alright, keep going. Try not to turn your wrist when you serve. Legs together. Relax your arm. Oh, never jump. Yep. Okay, let's see. Okay. Alright, again. So you can see, right? What happened is that every time she serves, she still like she'll still go like this. Can you see a little bit? So you want to prevent her from doing that. So she has to really get used to like keeping the wrist like more neutral. Right? Because a lot of times people serve wrongly by every time like opening this one, right? And then they'll serve like more pancake-ish, right? So you want to make sure every time it's like this. And from this like wrist position, right, you want to be able to like get the ball at the at side. Then you will learn, okay, so with this position, right, some people think you won't be able to hit there, right, especially like beginners, right? So when you go, for example, okay, let's lift up your hand. See the nice neutral grip, right? You just have to make sure it goes like this, can you see? All right, it just has to face the other side. So you have, to find, you have to, like, make sure your student can get the record face pointing at that side with this grip. It's very important. So they learn how to, like, control the ball even though their record face is there, right? So you don't want to just lift it up. You want to, like, always turn and like that, yeah. Okay, turn and face the yeah, at side. Yeah, okay. Let's try this time. Let's go again. Boom. Okay, try not to go to the right. It's a bit tougher. Huh? Yeah. So don't toss too much to the right side. If not, you'll go too much to the right. Right? So you're going to toss more in front. So this time, every time you serve, minimum, right? Some come closer. Right, minimum, you have to land inside here. Right, to make sure that your toss is in front, you want your toss to be around like, for you now, about this blue cone, okay? So our toss is going to be around like here, right, beside this blue cone, around this area. Because every time you serve, right, basically, right, you want to be like this, right? So let's say you toss your, you put your hand up 45 degrees. This is sort of where you want your serve to be, like on top, right? So when you see, when I put this down, it's going to be somewhere here. Right, so she should be able to like toss here. This is the optimal location in front. So she can put her weight in and the racket will auto like auto close by itself, okay? Come. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. 
So just let it go all the way. Record below your armpit, okay, when you finish on the left side. Boom. Yeah, keep trying. So you want to go like this. Last two and then break a little bit. Last two, last two. Relax your wrist, yeah, relax your wrist, neutral, yep. Boom. Okay, good. So at least it's going, I'll say like straight, right? Here's the goal, so, so now you got to aim. So sometimes when a player like, you know when she serves, right, she's going here. You want to tell them to aim for like somewhere further. Let's say now she aims for the empire chair, okay? So try to aim for the empire chair. All right, let's see how it, how it goes. Yep, so you see when she aims there, you'll go more to the right side. Oh, for the pass the ball. <laughs> for the pass you the ball. <laughs> okay. Alright, aim for the Empire chair, okay? The blue one. The only chair over there. Alright, start record behind again. Don't need to go from the front. Yep. Okay, relax your wrist. Okay, let's go. Ah, no, no, no. Again. Okay. Bam. Okay, good, but the legs are wrong, okay? So same position, stand closer to the yellow line. Stand closer to the yellow line. Okay. okay let's go. Boom. Try, try. Bend your wrist. Okay, fix it, fix it. Okay. All right, stand closer. Okay, good. All right, so you see a lot of times you toss too much to your right side. So you see the balls always go there, right? So you gotta toss inside so you don't move too much to that side, okay? Alright, see? Okay, try your best to toss only here. Too near, too near. More in front. More in front. Good try. So the toss is very important. The toss like helps you like get the ball to where you wanna go. Okay? Again? Change your relax your wrist a little bit. Try not to move your wrist, okay? Okay, relax. Okay, like that. Two right. 